Hello everyone, now in this video we are just going to prove that these two vectors are parallel to each other. Now, if two vectors want to be parallel, that means the cross product of these two vectors that is equals to zero, right? You have to prove that only. Now let's find out the cross product of these two vectors. Now, in this case, how to find out the cross product? At first, write down what is a vector that is of i cap minus of 5j cap then what is b vector over here that is equals to 2i cap minus of 10j cap right in this case k, k cap is missing now what you will do we will apply the rule of determinant now in this case i will write down i cap j cap and k cap as well now for both of the cases what are the coefficient for a vector it is having the coefficient of 1, minus 5 and 0. K cap is nothing here. That's why it is equals to 0. What is the value of the coefficient of i cap and j cap for b vector? That is 2 and minus 10. Right? And k cap is equals to 0 here. So what we will do? We will consider for i cap at first. Then what will come here? We will just multiply these two terms. If you multiply these two terms, it will become 0. Now, let's do the calculation for j cap. If you do for j cap, it will also become 0. Now, let's do for k cap. But here, k cap is nothing. Right? That means, in this case, the cross product that is equals to 0. Now, if the cross product is equals to 0, that means the two vectors are parallel to each other. Right? The two vectors are parallel to each other. Now, there is another process. Thus, we can find out the cross product of two vectors. What is the process? If you think that we can do another rule without this uh, determinant rule, then you can multiply it directly in this way that i cap minus of 5j cap multiplied by 2i cap minus of 10j cap but that rule is very much confusing and uh, maximum 70 to 80 percent people do some mistake in this rule that's why i just forward everyone to proceed with this method but if you want you can do with that now i cap cross of multiplied by 2 i cap what will come over here i cap cross of 2 i cap in the case of cross product you know the cross product of two similar unit vectors that is equals to 0 now if we do for the next one that is a minus of i cap multiplied by 10 j cap right i cap multiplied by 10 j cap then what will come what is i cross j in the previous video, I hope you guys have understood that i cross j that is equals to k. So, the result will be 10k that will write in the next line. Now, what we will do, we will just multiply these two terms. That is of minus 5j and 2i. Right? What will be 5j and 2i? That is of j cross i. I hope you know the diagram that how to multiply the unit vectors that is of i, j and k. That is of i cross j that is equals to k. j cross k that is equals to i. k cross i that is equals to j. Right? Now in this case, j cross i. What is equals to j cross i? That is minus of k. Right? And the last one that is of 5j multiplied by 10j the cross product will be 0 because the cross product of two similar two similar unit vectors that is equals to 0. Now in this case I think the process is too much tough for you people but I am telling you that you should know about this. Now I will get the values of this thing only that is of i cross i cross of 10j cap that is of k cap that is a minus of 10 k cap now in this case 5j cap multiplied by 2 i cap 
that is of minus k cap that is plus 10 k cap now in this case also the final answer that is equals to 0 that means you can say the cross product of two vectors if 0 then the two vectors are parallel to each other but I will prefer this method because this is so much of easy for you people okay that's good